And you're going to stand here and do nothing? We've lost a dozen patrols beyond the valley. Our orders are clear. No more. The freeholds were warned. You're talking about orders, son. I'm talking about the rights. Have you just polished that armor, is lives. it? Of course. Yeah. Aloy. I told you I'd be here. You did, Teb. But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nor at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Aloy, when you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She didn't need to. I know we can do this, Teb. Maybe we can. Arrested two for disorderly conduct last night. You don't want to know what they were doing. I bet those traitorous Osirons... Conveniently lose Durval and transport to Main Street. Little Huntress, you called, so here I am. Ready to fight? Fight? I thought you just wanted tea and conversation. Is there a battle coming? I wasn't informed. Well, that can't be true. You're always informed. Ah, so I am. We've only met a few times, and yet you know me so well. I don't think I know you at all. But I'd like to. Hmm. When I hear that line, it usually means something else. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've been waiting for this fight my whole life. The enemy we face today is the same that turned Meridian into a slate pit and Sunfall into a bloodbath. Fanatics who torture and murder mothers, fathers, families, children, and say it's the will of the sun. I hate them, Aloy. I've got the scars of their whips on my back to prove it. And today, we can get rid of them once and for all. I said I came for you, but that was only half the truth. I came for them. This time, they're not getting away. I'm with you, Vanasha. We'll fight them together. And I won't forget it, little Huntress. Tomorrow, may the sun rise on a better world. Aloy? Um, at ease, Uthid. Meridian will be glad to have you on its side. And I am too. The honor is mine. You saved my epitaph from being a fine soldier, but a fool of a man. I'm hoping you won't need any kind of epitaph just yet. As the sun wills. When you found me, I was trying to eke out a glorious death. But now, a glorious life seems more preferable. To watch Edelman play in the low gardens again. Still surrounded by a dozen guards, but... What you did, Aloy... It was done well. Although, I can't shake this road. Vinasha. She delights in goading me. Like brazen colors waved before a behemoth. Do you want me to ask her to stop? No. I accept it. Well then. 
Iridean shall stand and shadow shall fall. I swear it. Here's to that, Uthid. Watch out for the Asaran merchants. They'll soon shoot you if you look at you. I only fight when I have to. But by the but time I have to, I usually want to. Too much Asaram influence the palace. The sun is my armor. This other armor I wear is a safeguard. This place really couldn't be more different to the sacred land, could it? There are materials like I've never seen in the markets above. I tried to explain stitchers and makers to these Karja. You think the guard under the last king. Far cry from those this days. This place really couldn't be more different to the sacred land. I put something special on the tips of my arrows for the eclipse. It's too bad Bahavas isn't here to see his little friends crushed. Now that Prince is returned Always to Always for a sun is king. The war well and truly over? Always for Meridian. Every battle we hope to make the last. For the other side. The sun is my armor. This other armor I wear is a safeguard. Nakoa. You came to fight. How could I not? During the Red Raids, there was only one Karja Butcher the Nora feared more than Zaid. Helos. I would stand against any army he leads, no matter how strong. For the Nora he terrorized, for myself, and for my father. We'll stop him. You have my word. Your word means a lot. Especially now. Because of you, I hear the Sacred Land is open. If we win... I can go home. It'll be good to see Jan again. I'm with you, Aloy. Until the end. Like you said, we'll stop Helis cold. Together. I hear they call you the Anointed now. The matriarchs and the rituals. <laughs> Jan's probably eating it up. It's strange to fight alongside the Karja. But I guess they're like any tribe. Some kind, some vicious. Geneva. They called you back to duty. So, you're the one behind all this commotion. Who made Sun King Avad finally show his sword arm from behind those robes? A king can be fierce and fair, Geneva. He's a good man. A smart man, too. He had Murad offer all my prisoners a royal pardon if they'd fight for Meridian. The whole motley lot of them agreed. Didn't take much convincing. With your kind of convincing, I don't doubt it. Ha! This time I went easy on them. Those who commit the crime of attacking Meridian, they'll see less of my lenient side. May the sun blaze at your back, Aloy. How many men do you think you'll kill in the battle, Luthid? As many as I have to. I love it when you say things like that. It's so... What? Cheerful. Can't fault my prisoners' discipline. All those dawn drills have served them well. After it's all over, I might be the only one going back to the rock. How'd you like that? I've waited two years for this war to break. I can wait a little longer. So you must be Aloy, then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Murad asked me to check over the city arsenal first. Cannons have aged well, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it, then.
in. That's a nice spear, Uther. Thank you. I like the way you well grip it. The target and shadow may have proven baseless traitors. You're the hunter from the Banu Grove. I remember you also, Nora. The machines shook free of their slumber after you arrived. Raged and fought. Uh, well, that, that wasn't my fault. No, I'm thanking you. That night, I decided I would not go back to Banur. I would take my hunt into these lands. So many machines, even demons. Spidery, skittering, without the blue light in them. Dead things that must be killed again. Our enemies dug up an army of them. An army? Yes, that's why I came. Good. I'll wait. I bet those traitorous Asaram will just conveniently- Elita! I'm, I'm pleased to see you, but what are you doing here? I'm helping prepare for the battle. If a troll were here, we would have fought together. I know it. So I'm doing everything I can. Digging battlements, collecting herbs, anything that makes a difference. I can't take his place. Nothing can take his place. But I'm here for him, for both of us. I understand what it was he saw in you. He'll always be with me. Sun and shadow still meet for a moment, every dawn and dusk. I should give you this, to help in the battle. By the sun, I hope you don't need it. Thank you, Alita. Be safe. The Sun King's grown too soft. Too much Asaram influence. Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the Lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Are you sure you... You're risking your life for all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request... Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <sighs> no promises. 
When you need me, I'll follow your lead. I came prepared. I have arrows enough to take down five armies. Hawk and Thrush, ready for the battle to start. Rises taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many. And now we are so few. They are not our foe. <sighs> not this time. <sighs> Quiet now. She comes. The anointed. War Chief Sona. War Chief, you you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. The Karja do not impress me. To build so tall is to invite the fate of the ancients. We will stand tall, for we are the strength of the Nora. Your fight is ours. You know it to be so. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The Anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called Anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. Th and you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed did it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil, because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Your friend, the vanguard, keeps looking over. Up here, I'm not sure if the world has grown bigger, or I've grown smaller. I apologize for the war chief. She is hating this. these guys they call themselves the eclipse what does that even mean <laughs> it's when the moon gets in front of the sun idiot is that supposed to sound scary or something i don't know they used to be karja karja are always yammering about sun and shade well if they used to be karja how tough can they be yeah they're best guys just like birds we'll rip their little feathers off 
Hey, let's not get cocky, boys. Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. That's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line. line! And why? Steel before iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Aaron. Versa would be proud. Well, only if we win. What kind of machines have they got? Big, ugly ones. From the ancients. Ugly and ancient? Like your mother? Worse, like your wife. That's enough. This is what I have to deal with. We gonna fight soon? I'm getting hungry. You're always hungry. Feasts on me. After we win. Beer too? Beer too. Well, you just can't leave me alone, can you? I think she likes you. You gonna kiss her, Captain? Shut up. Now. We'll just pretend that never happened. 